Jeez, and I thought Alita 1 was going to have a short video. Um, welcome to Getting to Know, where for episode 4, I've decided to do Tailgate. I, I, I don't know why. To be fair, Tailgate's not exactly in a lot of stuff. Sure, he's a G1 Autobot, but take a wild guess about how often he showed up in the G1 cartoon. I'll tell you, he showed up in one episode, where he got stepped on. But not even funny stepped on, the way Swerve got stepped on. Tailgate doesn't even have that. I mean, sure, he was a big deal in IDW 1.0, but that's it. And even then, I'm gonna be just fully cards on the table. I like Tailgate more or less just because he's Cyclonus's buddy. My liking of Tailgate has so much more to do with the fact that I adore Cyclonus than necessarily I like Tailgate by himself. Even still, Tailgate's a massive fan favorite. People love this little guy, so he's worth taking a look at, even if we're probably going to be out of here in like five minutes. So I already said it, Tailgate first appeared all the way back in Generation 1, specifically Season 3, Five Faces of Darkness Part 5, where he was one of the Autobots who failed to save Teletron 1 from Trypticon. Now, this is not the original G1 Tailgate. This is the Walmart reissue that came out a few years ago. That said, aside from them painting the eyepiece, it's the same figure. Um, the figure's nice. I really like it. It's a very minor remold of the Wind Charger mold. Again, the colors are spectacular. The transformation's fun. Vehicle mode looks good. But yeah, he's a mini bot. There's not a lot to talk about here, and he's not exactly like a bumblebee or a cliff jumper where at least there's some true magic to how much this changes. He's kind of just there. Better than Brawn, probably not as good as Swerve. So, Tailgate made an appearance in G1. Do you want to take a wild guess as to when he would next show up? I'll tell you, it was about 28 years later in Transformers Prime. So, Transformers Prime, I'll tell you right now, my favorite Autobot was RC. And a big reason why I loved RC is because the universe seemingly just had it out for her. So the show opens with her losing her partner, Cliff Jumper. That said, he wasn't her first partner, because apparently the writers just need to dump even more trauma onto RC. We find out that her first partner was Tailgate, and Arachnid killed him. Apparently the CG model they used was a copy of Cliff Jumpers, which is why when he got a toy, it was just a Cliff Jumper figure repainted in Tailgate's G1 colors. This is Cyberverse Tailgate. Cyberverse Cliffjumper was already the single best Cyberverse figure bar none. This figure is still incredible too. He's just different colors, and honestly, I prefer these colors. Eventually, eventually, we do get to IDW 1.0, in which we find Tailgate, and he has one of my favorite backstories for a Transformer ever. Basically, he is a child that was put into a coma, and when he woke up, he was dying of old age. Tailgate is hopelessly naive and optimistic. He doesn't understand the terrors of the Cybertronian War because he was asleep for all of it. And then as soon as he starts to get a handle on things, he finds out that he is on the verge of death. And it's only through the aid of Cyclonus, who would go on to be his love interest, that he's able to survive. Like I said, Tailgate had some magic during the IDW days. So you'd hope he got a figure. And he did. Say hello to Generations Thrilling 30 Tailgate. Now, this figure is doing its best to be accurate to the Tailgate in the comics. And overall, I think it's doing a decent job for the price point. That said, he is incredibly hampered. His arms are just panels, his articulation's hindered, his transformation not all that great. But still, this was a good effort to give us an IDW Tailgate at retail. Well, it must have just been a renaissance for Tailgate, because guess what? Not even four years later in Power of the Primes, we got another Tailgate. Imagine that, we're averaging one Tailgate every two years. He's really getting saturated in the market. Uh, this figure is just an update of G1 Tailgate. It looks fine, but I'll be honest with you, I, I don't care. I don't like the G1 design all that much. When I think of Tailgate, I don't think of the G1 look. I'm sure there's someone out there who is excited to pick this guy up, but... That person was not me. And, um, yeah, that's all the official tailgates. Um, like I said, short video, short video. Um, why don't we talk about third party? X Transbots did a masterpiece tailgate. His name's Hatch, don't you know? And I'll be honest, the robot mode looks pretty solid. The vehicle mode looks spectacular. Transformation's apparently a bit of a nightmare, but that's kind of par for the course for X Transbots. It's just. Do you need a Masterpiece Tailgate? 
do you need need a character that only showed up in the cartoon for 30 seconds? Now, New Age Dalton is way more my speed. Legend Scale Tailgate looks beautiful. It's done by New Age, one of my favorite companies doing transforming figures today. He's so expensive for a transformer, especially for how small he is, but like, it's cheaper than a masterpiece. It takes up less room, and honestly, I think it's way more impressive. That just leaves what I personally think is the greatest tailgate toy of all time. The Make Toys Rear End. Rear End is a perfect translation of IDW Tailgate. His transformation, incredibly solid. Vehicle mode, wonderful. His robot mode, so cute. His proportions are totally on point. He has these wonderful colors. And they've even included an alternate head sculpt so you can have him having his crying face. It's just the best on every single count. I adore this figure. It is the one I have on my Lost Light shelf. If I got rid of every other tailgate I own, which to be fair is two, I would keep this one. But here's the better part. He came with pack and accessories, and those accessories allow you to take the hunt for Decepticon Cyclonus, and it gives you a perfect IDW Cyclonus. Now, he's not the right size, but when you consider what they've done here, which is taken a pre-existing Hasbro figure that's supposed to be G1 Cyclonus, and they give you this figure that really works for IDW Cyclonus, it's just perfect. And there we have it. That's every tailgate. Who's your favorite tailgate? Well, please let me know in the comments below, and who else would we want to see? I have characters in my own head, but if someone gives me a good suggestion, then I would be happy to jump on that instead. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching, and let's see who we talk about next time.